For a while now, I've been wanting to rebuild this project, which I did a while back. It's a resin covered um, amplifier with a skeleton. It's a headphone amplifier um, with a kind of skeleton design based on a Burr Brown op amp. And it has a power supply, it takes in 12 volts here, and it is really, really nice for headphones. Unfortunately, when I built it, I didn't add in any volume control, gain control, so the volume is incredibly loud and amplifies way too much to be comfortable and usable in normal day-to-day -day basis. So I wanted to redo it, but I wanted to redo it slightly differently. And when I initially made this, and also in the original designs, there was concern that if the capacitor ruptured, that it would explode because the resin is restraining these capacitors like a bomb. So in this short video, I'm going to actually test it out. So let's cast some capacitors in some resin and then let's blow them up. First step is to do without the resin, of course, so you can see what it looks like. That's it. For a small one. Slightly underwhelming. Underwhelming indeed. But okay, there we go. Here's some potato vision, or at least cell phone slow-mo, of the capacitor exploding. Um, it's a little bit underwhelming, nothing changes. But it is very sticky, and it smells, I mean, it's just capacitor stuff. Um, this is now 50 volts going through it, I don't know if I mentioned it before. But that's it. Safety squints engaged. That's better. Whew. Good. Now let's stick those suckers in some resin and see what happens. In this other slow motion, you can see that the capacitor fails where it's supposed to in the design spot. Basically, at the top, where there's some perforations, um, it's really sticky, the stuff that comes out, as I said before. And in these next set of clips, you can see I'm actually just building the little mold or using a mold and then securing the capacitors to some wood, using a little off cuts of some stands off to get the height right. It wasn't perfect in the end, but it's worked, it serves a purpose. Um, here I'm measuring out the resin, how much I need. I've got a lot of this resin here, I'm degassing it so there's least amount of bubbles possible. Um, and then here I pour it in. And here I'm removing them and splitting them apart. Alright, so what we have here is first capacitor. Little guy, you saw the footage of how that one handled. So now we're going to do the same experiment, but in a little bit of a safer way. And I've got some camera set up recording this, of course, which I've protected with some plexiglass, because I really have no idea what's going to happen with this particular explosion or not. So here's me after repositioning the camera properly and that's me running out of the room. If you just watch the bottom of the capacitor, um, you'll see that it starts swelling. Actually, the resin melts a little bit. There we go, you can see the bottom swelling already. Resin gives way a little bit. There it is. Whoa, oh, heard that. Whew, that was frightening. Okay, so it blew out in the weakest point. Good. Here's some GoPro footage of the same thing. It's only 200 frames per second. This is sped up a thousand times now. You can see it expanding. I'm sorry about the bad focus. I'll work on that next time. Um, this is not slowed down normal speed or slow mo speed at least. And that's how it shots shoot shot out. Shots out. It's pretty interesting. This one was pushed out. So let's try the next biggest next biggest size up. That's this one. Positive is connected. 
Good. With this one, you can see it's a bigger cap, and you can see that the little bubble forms at the bottom as well, and it just shoots out the side when the resin doesn't get pushed aside. Is the bubble forming at the bottom? A lot more energy in that one. If there was more resin, I think it could be a quite a bad explosion, which we will see next. Spoiler. That one was much more violent, I have the impression. Same failure mode. It failed out the thinnest side. But there's definitely no exploding resin, which is what people feared would happen. This is the last and biggest capacitor which I had in this particular experiment. Um, this one is interesting. Unfortunately the slow-mo was a bit messed up because the camera was flung aside. So this camera's good though. Well slow-mo. Go! It's a lot of energy. So what we've learned here is that capacitors can explode quite violently if you're not careful. Um, so don't ex don't enclose them in resin and then pass way too high a current through them because it can be quite a devastating thing. One way to mitigate it would be of course to drill a small hole to the bottom where the vapor could release or the pressure could release. Um, but I don't think in my partic particular situation unless the capacitor failed in some mechanical way that it would actually be a problem because the voltages are way too low and the capacitor are rated way higher than those voltages. The another experiment would be to put small ceramic ones into resin and I think I'll do that next. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.